In this video, we're telling you 13 things you didn't know about Johnny Walker. This is whiskey. Johnny Walker Scotch whiskey. Number one, Johnny Walker is the most popular whiskey in the world. If Johnny Walker were in high school, he'd be voted prom king. Number two, Johnny Walker, real person. I know there aren't a lot of brands anymore that are named after real people. Mm, I think it's kind of cool. There's no Charles Twitter, although there are lots of twits. Number three, John Walker used to be a farmer. When his father died, he sold the farm and opened up a grocery store in Kilmarnock. Number four, John Walker never planned to be a whiskey entrepreneur. He just owned a grocery store. And back then, you could buy hard liquor and eggs in the same trip. Kind of like you can do today. Number five, Johnny Walker is a reaction to single malts. Back then, all grocers stocked a range of local single malts, but they could be a wee bit inconsistent. Johnny Walker wanted to produce a whiskey that tasted the same every single time. So by making a blend, he could control consistency. So the reason that Johnny Walker tastes the way it does is because it was a reaction to single malts. Number six. Johnny Walker is a lot more complex than people give it credit for. Most people think Johnny Walker is just a really smooth whiskey and is therefore simple. But actually, when you compare the nose on most Johnny Walkers to the way it tastes on the palate, they're not really the same. There's a lot more complexity and layers in there. So Johnny Walker is definitely not a simple whiskey. Number seven, the original Johnny Walker labels didn't say Johnny Walker and they didn't have some guy strutting around. They just said John Walker and Sons and they had some legal mumbo jumbo about not being able to resell the bottle. Number eight, the original striding man was a doodle. We all know and love the cool, mysterious dude on the label now, but the striding man used to be colorful and friendly and was drawn by Tom Brown during his lunch break. Also, this picture kind of looks like he's on a cell phone. Number nine, the label is slanted on purpose. When Alexander Walker took over operations after his father died, he wanted his whiskey to stand out from all the competition. So he took the label and he slanted it exactly 24 degrees. No big deal, you might think. But you'd be wrong. The square bottle meant less breakages and more bottles per ship. The diagonal label meant larger type. And together, that meant Johnny Walker had unmistakable presence on any shelf in the world. Number 10. The color identification on Johnny Walker didn't come until much, much later. It wasn't until Alexander passed the whiskey business on to his sons that they started to brand and recognize the different quality and level of whiskey in Johnny Walker by colors. By the end of the 20th century, the familiar red label and black label were joined by the green label, the gold label, and the grandest of them all, Johnny Walker Blue Label. But since then, they've added loads of different colors, like double black, platinum, gold. They're going to run out of colors soon. Number 11, speaking of colors, the colors do more than just relate to the price point. They say something specific about the whiskey. Red is called red because it's used for a specific drink. Black is black because it's the peatiest. Double black is smokier than the regular peat, so double black. Blue is the smoothest color and therefore the smoothest whiskey, much like Ewan McGregor in every movie he's ever been in. Number 12, Johnny Walker Red is originally made for a mixed drink. Sure, you can drink Johnny Walker Red neat, but it's actually made to be mixed with soda. It's the perfect whiskey for a scotch and soda. Number 13, there is a Johnny Walker that costs $25,000. There are only a hundred of them and they're 50 years old. They were made to celebrate John Walker and they come in a crystal decanter in a really big box made by the person who makes cabinets for the queen, which is what you'd expect because when you're paying $25,000 for a whiskey, you want it to come in a nice box. If you know anything else about Johnny Walker, leave us a comment down below and remember to subscribe to our channel. 
We do new whiskey videos every week and we do a competition every month for a whiskey that's worth over 350 pounds. So make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching.